One thing you'll notice about the BlackBerry uh, playbook is that it has a WebOS-like interface, and we're not complaining at all. You know, RIM has worked closely with QNX and an, another uh, TAT, which is a UI uh, maker, and, and they've come together with a really good interface. And you know, one thing that you'll notice right away is that there's this Carol cell right here for the BlackBerry Tablet OS, and you can scroll through your apps, select them, and if you want to, you can you know whisk some of them off the screen or use this little X button to exit. You can pull up all of your apps right here with that arrow, uh, but you can also swipe up if you want to do that instead. And uh, you can notice that the, the playbook has a thick bezel, but that's there for a reason, because when you're within an app, you can go back to the main screen just by swiping up from the frame, just like that. And then when you're within an app, you can actually switch between apps without having to go back to the main screen, just by swiping from left or right on the, on the frame, just like that. And even if you start playing a video and you swipe to the left, you'll see that the, the video automatically stopped playback. So the software is pretty smart. The other thing that you'll notice about the, the playbook is that when you're within an app, all of the options on screen, there's no menu button. So what you do is just drag down from the top of the display. So it'll show you the, the available options. So when we pause playback here, I'll show you another example. So let's say you're within the browser. You'll see up here, so you click on the site, and then if you want to you know, work with tabs, go into the options, look at your downloads, it just takes a swipe down from the top. So it is a nice way to eliminate having a menu button. That's part of the reason why the playbook is so nice and clean.